kind of this life goal to be a WWE superstar. Japanese ocean cyclone suplex. Yes. Are you kidding me? Yes. <laughs> we're making Sing look sexy. It's what we're doing. I just I love that Divas era. Truly, I thank you. <laughs> I'm so excited for this. We are here with Maxine Dupree. Whoa. I'm excited for this. You know how much Ring the Bell is so freaking excited about this. Oh, so I'm excited. excited. I've been watching. I've been tuned in. And I'm just, I'm excited to be here with you. She told me that. I'm like, is this real life? Yes. I think we have some similarities. For sure. In the sense that we love Total Diva. Yes. <laughs> yes. And that's how you got into pro wrestling, it right? It is, yeah. Okay, so when I was in high school, I was obsessed with Total Divas. Okay. So growing up, I was obsessed with Dance Moms. Oh. So like, I feel like that that, like transition okay. into Total Divas because it was still that like glitz and glamour competitiveness but like adult mm -hmm. superstars yeah and um, so I was really obsessed with it my grandpa is like a diehard fan Ooh. like die 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 hard okay every Monday night Monday night wrestling never missing it yeah this is so embarrassing I literally did not know that Monday night wrestling that my grandpa watched was the same thing as Total Divas oh. for the longest time and then it became this like really fun thing where like I'd bond with my grandpa over it and with my dad and and I was a competitive dancer, I danced professionally, and I loved sports entertainment in that sense. And I was like, okay, I really want to continue this. I want to perform. So it was always like on my bucket list. Okay. I was just kind of like doing my own thing, working, working. And then I started applying for a tryout, didn't hear anything, was reaching out to people. And then I actually, it was Father's Day, and I emailed my modeling agent, and I was like, so random. Um, I have this life goal to be a WWE superstar. <laughs> you happen to know anyone, let a girl know. Mm -hmm. And two weeks later, I got a tryout. Oh. Amazing, amazing. I mean, so you know, everyone here is probably asking, what's your favorite match? Stone Cold's tough enough, but I'm gonna ask you, what's your favorite drama from Total Divas? <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so good. You know, I loved the the Natalia Summer Ray feud. Okay, iconic. That iconic. was like that was serving. It was serving on all levels, and I feel like it doesn't get enough attention for how great that was. Like, it was truly incredible. I love that you brought it back for Royal Rumble. Yes. Yeah. Like it's so good. It's so good. So how is it different being a wrestler yourself now compared to what you saw in Total Divas? Of course, like of course there's differences because they were filming a reality right, show. Right. <laughs> so it's like a little bit different, but <laughs> it's very like fulfilling. Like to be doing something that like I grew up watching and was like, oh my God, this is so cool and I love this and I'm I look up to these women like to now be here, like even this, it was like such a pinch me moment when Natalia followed me on Instagram. I like mm. screenshotted it. It was like, oh my gosh, like this is so cool. So it was like those little moments that seem so little to someone else, like might not really matter. For me, it was like, oh my God, these are like my total divas yes. dreams coming true. That's amazing. I love it. So you were wrestling for last like month or so and you were doing arm drags, suplex, oh, yes. we're like loving, yes, Maxine. <laughs> and then you pulled out this banger of a finisher, Japanese ocean cyclone suplex. Yes. Are you kidding me? Yes. You, wait, where did that Oh, I mean, Coach Gable, guys. Oh. Like, and this is not, like, this is authentic, true to my core. Like, my coach, Chad Gable, was like, this is what we're doing. I'm going to teach you this. And it worked. It was successful. Yes. And I'm just, I'm grateful. Did you see the fan reaction? People it was so gagged. cool. It was so cool. <laughs> So special. I mean, you you are really really killing it. And Thank your you. um, wrestling gear, the singlet. You're Thank making you. singlet sexy. We're making singlet sexy. It's <laughs> what we're doing. Yeah, because you're a fashion mogul yourself. Yes. You know, a fashion brand. Yeah. So what was the inspiration behind that? So it's actually kind of funny because the first time I wore it, I was like, oh my god, this is gonna be hilarious. Like people are gonna laugh so hard. Like it'll be funny. And I was just gonna wear it for this little like training segment. Mm -hmm. And I was like, it'll be great. Like, and it honestly started as a joke because I said to the boys, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna wear a singlet, and they were like. Yeah, wear a singlet. And yeah. I was like, okay, cool. And then when I put it on, everyone was like, no, you have to wear it. You have to go out to the ring and that, like, that you're wearing that. And I was like, I was like a little embarrassed. I was like, you guys, I'm in a singlet. Like, and then I was like, everyone was hyping me up. And I was like, you know what? No, we're, we're rocking yeah. the singlet. We're killing it. And now I'm so glad that I am because I love it. Yeah. And I think it's so iconic. And I think it just is like one of those cool moments where you take something that's traditionally more masculine mm -hmm. and put your feminine touch on it and just own it and have that confidence from within. And, and you had a little Barbie coloring too in the past yes. week. It was so cute. Yes. Got the boys in pink. <laughs> yes. Come on now. Yes. Because you're a fashionista, I have to ask yeah. you, who do you think in the locker room or past and present okay. has the best 
best attire. I really live for Becky Lynch. Mm -hmm. I live for the look she serves. I feel like she always pushes the envelope. And I think that people don't give enough credit for that. Like, it's yeah. intimidating to push the envelope. Mm -hmm. And, like, you don't know what reaction you're going to get. And I just, like, respect her confidence. Becky is the certified fashionista yes. by Maxine. <laughs> I heard your uh, your ride partner is Chelsea Green. Yes. How is that like? Oh, my God. I love Chelsea. We're, like, she's truly become my big sister. Like, I love her so much. And she just, like, looks out for me and gives me so much guidance. She's been in this business for so long. She's right. so talented. She knows so much more than I think she gets credit for. Mm -hmm. And she's just, like, like, she is someone where I swear if they were, like, you have a match right now and I had nothing, she'd be, like, here's my gear, my skirt, and my hat. Go ahead, honey. Oh, like, she is just, like, a pure soul to her to her core. One thing I'm really curious about though is that you're surrounded by so many people that has years of experience yeah. like at Indies and Performance Center NXT. So how is it like to be so fresh and new? Yes. Um, is there like a whole like sense of responsibility that you have to earn the respect? Like what, what's yeah. it like the pressure? Yeah you guys I literally don't know what's going on in my life. I'm just in charge of the outfits <laughs> and I just show up and do my very best and I, I try to just be really honest about it. Like guys I don't know what I'm doing if I'm doing something wrong like tell me I want to learn I want to pay my dues and I you know I want to be someone in this business that like in times to come can be respected and I want to put in the work for that to happen I don't I don't want to like surpass anything and I think that I've been really really lucky because the woman's locker room truly is so kind and warm and welcoming like I was so scared and I had never experienced like people like my first day live literally was like come on I'll show you catering I'll show you where to get your makeup done like you're gonna be good like she stayed with me all day and I just I'm really grateful for that and I think that I've been lucky to have such such powerful confident women really guide me and men like I've been really really blessed like Chad Gable and Otis like truly take such good care of me and help me out with everything and it's amazing you know some fans are making comparison between your career right now and Trisha's early career how fans are watching you grow and really connecting with yeah. you so how's it like to share a locker room with the legendary Trish Stratus yes I mean you guys she's so sweet she's so iconic oh, that's another one where it's like just so crazy there was a, a I think it was a Smackdown and I was wearing this like fur coat and I came back and she was like next time like show a little shoulder oh. and the next week I'm like shoulders are out baby here I am like whatever Trish says I'm doing she's coming up with the smart sexy and powerful tips yes the diva -licious. yes yeah so it's, it's so cool you're really killing it in the ring so what are some of your like in ring wrestling aspirations you know and I always talk about this like I love the Bella Twins but I also like I love Kelly Kelly I love like I just I love that divas era okay oh thank um, you <laughs> but you know also like it's it's really special even on like live events when I'm sitting in the back watching like Charlotte and Bianca and Austin have these banger matches yeah. that are so inspiring to me and I'm not that level yet but it's really cool to get to watch and be like wow like these women are so talented and Bailey's another one like Bailey is so so talented so it's just for me right now it's like I'm just watching all of them and trying to absorb everything mm -hmm. and take everything away from it that I can because I'm so fresh and they're all so talented so I'm just I'm surrounded by a lot of talented women and it's it's awesome last couple of months so many people have been like die-hard fans of you Aww. whenever you walk out there fans just erupt so what's your message to fans that's been in love with you oh, thank you guys like truly a thank you <laughs> to my core because I could not have dreamed this up like this is so much more like it gives me goosebumps when I talk about it because it's so much more than I ever thought I was capable of and it's just like so 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 special and when I walk out there and I hit the thank you and the whole crowd does it like it literally gives me butterflies in my stomach and then when I watch the video back I'm like I could cry if I think about it too long because it's like the coolest thing I've ever experienced in my whole life.